Inside our Earth Our Earth is a unique planet in the solar system. It is the only planet which contains life. Although the exact origin of our Earth is still not known, yet it is believed that Earth came into being some 4,600 million years ago. The Earth has reached its present form through many phases. It was in the molten stage in the beginning, but gradually it started cooling and thus the solid outer crust was formed. Study at a glance. Layers of the earth, rocks and minerals, rock cycle. Layers of the earth. Our earth consists of several concentric shells or layers like the layers of an onion. The layers of the earth can be broadly classified into lithosphere, mantle and core. Lithosphere or earth's crust. The surface of the earth consists of rocks of various types. These rocks form a relatively thin layer known as the crust or the lithosphere. Its average thickness is about 60 kilometers. This layer is found both under the continents and the ocean flows. This layer is rich in silica and aluminium. This layer is often called Cial. Taking Si from silica and Al from aluminium, its average density is 2.7. It is a solid layer. Mantle the mantle layer lies beneath the Cial layer. It extends up to a depth of 2,900 kilometers. This layer consists of inner silicates or SEMA. It is rich in silica and magnesium. This layer is referred to as SEMA, which is Si plus Ma because it is made of silicates and magnesium. This is a transitional zone of mixed metals and silicates. Core The interior most layer or the center of the earth is core. The core of the earth has a radius of about 3400 kilometers. The interior core of the earth largely consists of metals in liquid or in viscous state due to very high temperature and pressure inside the earth. Nickel and iron are dominant in the core. It is often called knife, N-I-F-E. Nickel plus ferrum, that is iron, equals knife, N-I-F-E. The core has an estimated temperature of 5000 degrees Celsius. Rocks and Minerals Rock is the hard material that makes up the earth's crust. Various combinations of minerals make up hundreds of different types of rocks. Rocks are made up of individual substances which are called minerals found mostly in solid state. Minerals are the natural inorganic substances which have definite chemical composition and physical properties. They are usually crystalline but some minerals are non-crystalline. There are some metallic minerals like copper, iron, gold, etc. and some non-metallic minerals like gypsum, mica, etc. Minerals are very important for the development of humankind. Types of rock On the basis of their origin, rocks are generally classified into three categories. Igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks. Igneous rocks. Our earth contains a hot molten material having very high temperature and pressure deep below its lithosphere. On cooling and solidification of the molten rock material, igneous rocks are formed. The molten rock material is called magma. The igneous rocks are classified into two subtypes, extrusive igneous rocks Intrusive igneous rocks. Extrusive igneous rocks. During the volcanic eruption, 
the magma erupts and on reaching the earth's surface it gets cool and solidifies rocks formed due to the solidification on the earth's surface is known as extrusive igneous rocks or volcanic rocks basalt is a common example of such rocks intrusive igneous rocks intrusive rocks are formed by the solidification of magma below the surface of the earth in the cracks or joints inside the earth magma cools very slowly and thus forms crystals of large size the granite and dolerite are the most common examples of such type of rocks sometimes the magma cools and solidifies at a great depth due to very slow cooling large size of rock crystals are formed very deep down the deep seated igneous rocks are known as plutonic rocks sedimentary rocks sedimentary rocks are those rocks which are layered or stratified and they are formed with the agents of running water wind or glacier these agents break and erode the igneous and other rocks and transport them to a certain place where they are deposited the deposition of such material occurs in layers these rocks consist of a number of layers and often contain fossils of animals and plant life these rocks are comparatively soft they are classed into the following subtypes mechanically formed sedimentary rocks chemically formed sedimentary rocks organically formed sedimentary rocks mechanically formed sedimentary rocks when the rocks are exposed to weather changes and to other agents of erosion they are broken and thus carried away to a particular site where such material is deposited in layers and thus this type of rocks are formed sandstone shale clay gravel etc are the examples of such rocks chemically formed sedimentary rocks these rocks are formed by the process of evaporation of water containing mineral salts in the solution in deserts or shallow lakes water gets evaporated leaving behind a layer of salts these salts get consolidated into sedimentary rocks common salt gypsum and nitrates are some of the examples of chemically formed sedimentary rocks organically formed sedimentary rocks these rocks are formed by the accumulation of the remnant part of organisms plants and animals coal limestone chalk etc are some examples of this type of rocks metamorphic rocks metamorphic rocks are either igneous or sedimentary rocks but have undergone a change due to excessive heat and pressure such changed rocks are called metamorphic rocks due to excessive heat limestone changes into marble and due to excessive pressure shale changes into slate coal changes into graphite and sandstone changes into quartzite rock cycle all the rock material originating from beneath the earth form igneous rocks these igneous rocks are the parent rocks igneous rocks are also known as primary rocks when exposed to weather changes they are broken and eroded and give birth to sedimentary rocks due to excessive heat and pressure these rocks further undergo a change into metamorphic rocks the change of one rock into another type under different conditions is known as rock cycle rock cycle the change of one rock into another type under different conditions is known as rock cycle summary the earth's layer may be broadly classified into lithosphere crust mantle and core rocks are natural deposits that form solid part of the earth's crust they are of three major types igneous rocks sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks minerals 
are the natural inorganic substance which have definite chemical composition and physical properties. Igneous rocks are classified into two subtypes. They are extrusive igneous rocks and intrusive igneous rocks. Sedimentary rocks are also classified into the following subtypes. Mechanically formed sedimentary rocks, chemically formed sedimentary rocks, organically formed sedimentary rocks. The change of one rock into another type under different conditions is known as rock cycle.